All right, we are back, and all right, we are going to We're going to open the audio window and we're going to bring that in. I just close the window. It's cut off so you can see it. And then we're going to bring in. So I need for this quarantine warning, quarantine, and the cover sheet type thingy. I normally put um, these two type in a different folder, but I'm trying to make things a little go faster. Um, So, oh, and I need, um, wait, outro. All right. So, First things first, pull my outro over. Oh, it worked. It doesn't always work. If I hit Alt, it pulls it over without the, um, without the sound. All right, I'm going to pull over the sound. Pull over it. Background sheets. Expand it. It doesn't usually come out that small. All right. Just that. Let's see. Use those, use those. And then I'm just going to listen to it. I actually won't bother recording this. Um, All right, I went ahead and lined it up to where it's talking about quarantine and the warning. So I'm just going to pull from over here. And I'm going to shift, pull this. And I don't know how big I want it to be. This will let me like magnify in here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put in a cool transition, transition dash video. I'm going to use push and slider very close. And I wanna bring it down. 180, yeah. See it says 180 here. Right? And then I'm just gonna see how that looks. And um what you call it? There's no comments, you can't comment. There's no recommended. Yeah. That's the transition, I just took it off. Um, yeah. Unmagnify this. Because I don't think I'm going to want a lot of it. Let me magnify it. It's going to magnify around where this is. So if you don't have this lined up where you are working, um, it's going to jump when you magnify. So. That's when 
you open up the video and um, what you call it, there's no comments, you can't comment it, there's no recommended video. So this is just I'm gonna go ahead and move this. Make it a little smaller. Oops. You gotta be really careful that you get right on the corner. Because also, you can accidentally grab the other layers and everything starts moving around. In which case, you just recheck here what you want and then go back up here. That tripped me up for a little while when I first started editing. Ah, see, it did it right there. Click. Carefully only on the corner, shrink it a little, move it, right? You can't comment it, there's no recommended videos, it's just like this eerie quarantine. You, you can't click their name and get back to their actual account, you have to use the back button. You can't share from a share button, you have to use the uh, link in the browser. Okay, so I'm going to put the transition on. Eighty. And then I'm going to put the effect on to roll it out. And that's automatically right. And then I'm going to go back to media. That's where all my stuff is. When this comes out, I want this one. Do you wish to continue? You know, because in case you're a snowflake and you can't... Oops. I already positioned this one. I'll just use that one. Positioned and sized. Touching. It's actually gonna fall right. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use push this time. Push. This one has a different I went down because I like to have my the stuff comes in down here and then it goes off to the side. I think that looks cool. And then I'm gonna send it out and it's right is the default for both of them. <coughs> so I think that's pretty much it. And then I just need to transition into here. Stick um, something. There we go. And I'm just going to see how that transition looks. People are searching for him and they don't know he's on Mines. I will tag his Mines in the description. Cool. Alright, since I'm done with this video, this was a short video. I knew this was going to be pretty easy to edit because I wasn't adding too much into it. But also, I had a chance to show everybody how I make the audio, I make it in Audacity, and then I make 
the uh, my backgrounds and make those in paint.net which is a free program and it has layers similar to Photoshop and I think it's actually easier to use than Photoshop somebody gave me a copy of Photoshop at one point and I found that that was easier to use and then I had to add in some little stuff so this is um, for people who are thinking about getting started this will get you started basic basic editing oh this thing right here I don't think it really really matters in this case but you can export multiple which I've done like if I chop up a video I can chop them up and use one of these and line it up for export and then go and use another part of it that's that was really good when I chopped up um, I never ended up using it I should do that um, <laughs> when I chopped up Red Pill Black's videos and like labeled them according to what she was talking about and then eventually the intent was to put them all back together with similar clips from other interviews so um, but yeah so controls that comes up after I put in the effects I really don't use anything else in the effects once there's a jiggle effect or something in here that I used once most of the effects are probably gonna come in handy more for people who are actually out recording stuff or doing like fancy type film production it's a very powerful editing program I don't really use a lot of what it can do there's also something else called the um, compositing I have used that for some cool transitions but you know um, I think for politics you don't really need that much editing so all right everybody and I'll just show you hit export see and then I'm gonna rename it because it wants to name itself editor so Glock Fan boy suspended YouTube and start exporting and I think that's it. Alright, thanks for stopping by my channel. I will see you all next time.